G'day cheeky dogs, my name's Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. And what would Chili do? <laughs> that is what we're going to be talking about today because our girl Chili is on the cover of InStyle Magazine Australia as a celebrated iconic female figure of Australians. <laughs> Exciting! So. For today's video, we're going to be breaking down Chili being on the cover, all the information we found out from the article as well. So we've got some brand new images as well as 3C updates and future episode updates as well. We're also going to be talking about Bluey and the Brisbane Olympics in 2032 and the references made in that, as well as some behind the scenes Ludo stuff that we also learned about too. So if you love Bluey as much as I do, don't forget to hit that like button down below as well as that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you know when any other of my Bluey content comes out. But otherwise, let's talk about our girl Chili and being on the magazine cover. So Chili was the cover girl for InStyle Australia magazine for this February edition. It is available online so you can also read it as well. She has been recognised as a national icon and the picture they chose of her is just such a massive Easter egg. So for those of you who don't know, this picture is from the Bluey season 1 episode Beach, but it is also an iconic black and white photograph. It is a reference to the Sunbaker 1937, which is a black black and white photo by Australian photographer Max Dupain and a current print of it is worth twenty to thirty thousand dollars. That is how iconically Australian it actually is. And the article even stated that Joe Brum likes to include a lot of these iconic cultural references which of course we know about. We talk about that all the time on my channel here with all of our episode breakdowns for all the easter eggs and references so I love that they also yeah shouted out that this is what he has been doing on purpose. Now again we do also have a second image of Chili that is a brand new one that Ludo Studios created for this specific magazine article and I also love that again it is a massive easter egg reference. So this references the 1986 Elle McPherson shoot where she has zinc and goggles on but of course our girl Chili has to blueify it a little bit more because she's a mum. Now she still has the iconic yellow zinc on her face but she's obviously just grabbed the girl's crab goggles and put them on her instead. So I love this image of her. I think again so iconically Australian with being at the beach. It fits in so nicely and I just absolutely love it. Let's get cracking, bingo. Ah, get it cracking. <laughs> Now, in terms of some of the information we found out about the article with season three, they stated that they are still working on season three episodes and that they will be out soonish, but that we are also officially getting 20 mini episodes, which we all knew were going to be shorts, but they, it turns out they're going to be two to three minutes long. So they're kind of like half episodes. So that's a lot that we're going to be getting over the next sort of year, and I am super excited for it. We do also hear from the producer Sam Moore talking about Bluey and the Olympics. So 2032, the Olympics are going to be in Brisbane, Australia, and Obviously Bluey is going to be involved. It's one of the top 10 streamed series, movies, things to watch on TV, basically in general around the entire world. So yeah, it's obviously going to be definitely a part of the Olympics, just like how Winnie the Pooh and Paddington were for the London Olympics. And I am super excited to see basically Bluey and her family trying to do all the different sports that we see in the Olympics. I feel like that would be such a cool little like mini shorts that they could do for the Olympics to introduce each of the games. Now as for the behind the Ludo scene stuff, it was really interesting to learn a little bit more about it and the fact that yeah, Joe Brum did initially pitch this as the Australian Peppa Pig and that they set up the whole studio from scratch. They just got desks from Ikea, hired the animators and just got started with it. And we can kind of see that in that 2016 pilot compared to where they are now where they have 50 people on the team and how much more smoother that process is. We also find out that Disney initially wanted to change the voices. They wanted to do their own voiceovers for English for Americans basically. They said that they weren't convinced on the Aussie accents and they were worried that people wouldn't be able to understand it. But they tested it with the audience and they understood it perfectly fine. Because yeah, the Australian accent isn't that difficult to understand. There's already loads of Australian movies that have done well internationally and through Hollywood. So I don't know why Disney thought that this wasn't going to appeal to kids when obviously the British accents from Peppa Pig do. So of course our Aussie accents would as well. Oh my goodness. Now another little interesting thing about the team is that with the 50 team members they do have almost a 50% female majority which is really really cool because animation tends to be more of a male dominated field so it's really nice to see that they're trying to make it as equal as possible. And we do also find out that they do little parties after every 10 episodes that they've completed they have dress up parties and they even have Bob Bilby giving out awards. Overall this article was really beautiful it interviewed a couple of different people throughout it and it even kind of semi shouted out me they referred to me as 
one with my theory about the bluey being part of like the kardashians but in the bluey verse so i'll take it i'll take it that i was mentioned in this article alongside everyone else but there is also another really great article out from the washington post as well talking about bluey and how just so many people have found it through tiktok and why it's resonating with a lot of adults and teenagers so i was interviewed with that alongside joe brum as well as mary and kate from the gotta be done podcast i will leave a link for that washington post article as well in the comment section down below because it is a fantastic article and i think it's really beautiful alongside of course what would chili do article but let me know in that comment section down below how iconic do you think chili is and what is her most iconic moment to you for me it's sticky gecko when she gets really really mad and sits in the chair and is like fine we're not going <laughs> felt that in my bones. I remember my mum doing that to me. So that for me is one of my most iconic chilly moments, but let me know what yours was as well down below. I do have a bunch more Bluey videos coming out as always, but cheeky dogs, I'm actually going to be going to Australia in like three hours. So if you would like to see some of my content from while I'm in Australia, I'll be there for about five weeks. Make sure to follow me over on TikTok. It's Aussie Girl Maggie, same as it is here. I do usually do a lot of like my theory videos in there, but also like short snippets and just commentary and reaction videos as well. And then of course I do also have Instagram too. So same thing, Aussie Girl Maggie over on there. I try to post up different memes as well as some of my theory videos. And of course in my stories, I try to do whatever I'm doing in my daily life that might be related to Bluey stuff. So if you get a chance, please go over and follow me on each of those two socials. I also find it a lot easier to interact with people. I try to like, message people back on my DM if they ever message me because I love chatting to you guys. I really, really enjoy it. And I really appreciate all the support that you have been giving me on this channel and with all my content. I'm sure you already know, like I do lots of Bluey content, but I am trying to branch out in 2023 and add in some other content as well with other animated stuff. I'm going to be doing videos on the five Oscar films that were nominated for best animated feature this year. And my thoughts on why they were nominated, could, nominated? why they were nominated, could they win? But also I'm going to be doing reviews of anime that I really love, especially anime from Japan or anime that's on Netflix as well as just other animated shows from Australia and from America as well because Avatar is coming out soon as well. The Last Airbender, not the blue one. And I absolutely love that show. So if there's anything else that you would like me to talk about, let me know in that comment section as well. Say, hey Margie, I would love for you to talk about Owl House. Yes, I am watching Owl House. I'm getting there. I promise. It's just taking a bit of time. But if there's other shows that you'd like me to talk about, please just let me know on Instagram, TikTok, any of those, because I love interacting with you guys and finding out what kind of content you want me to talk about. And fingers crossed that Bluey Season 3C doesn't come out in Australia while I'm there, because obviously I won't have my backdrop to film properly. But if it does, I will still be doing a watch along party. So I usually live stream that where we watch along together. You can't actually put it on YouTube because that would be copyright, but usually you will watch it, I watch it, and we talk the whole time basically through it. So that's always a lot of fun. And then that same day, I usually try to get out a breakdown of the episode as well and the Easter eggs that I found in it. So if it does happen while I'm in Australia, please excuse me for not having this background, but I want to get those videos out to you. So that will be what's happening. But Honestly, I think it's probably going to come out in May or if not later because they do have the album dropping April 21st and I don't think they're going to drop any of the episodes before that happens. So I think we might be okay at least until May and I'll be back way before then. But until then, I have picked you cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I will see you all in another video. Mwah! Bye!